about oil yeah. and, and oil being the massive wild card move that we've had yeah. here over the last uh, couple of weeks, really. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the, the oil exploration sector, they're, they're pulling back some of the forward contracts. I mean, yeah. do you fear that we're going to have more <coughs> volatility and unwelcome volatility in this particular area? Yeah, we're certainly seeing that. If you look at Australia, for instance, we're, who are far bigger um, exporters of um, hard commodities than we are, certainly in terms, and also oil and gas, you're seeing the, the pipeline of developments, you know, slowing up you know, quite dramatically. On the other side of the coin, I don't think oil prices will recover dramatically. I think, firstly, um, Russia is hanging over that issue and will continue to do so for quite some time. So I don't think that will change. The interesting thing uh, about it, though, is what is the stimulatory effect of what's happening with those lower oil prices? Because we're, I've just been in the US. If you look over there, they're arguing that the average household somewhere between about 30 and $40 a week better off as a result of lower oil prices. And they already pay very little for their petrol yeah, in comparison yeah. to, say, the UK. So the impact on consumers is actually quite positive. It's a, it's a, it's a tax cut or a, or a wage increase that, that maybe the central banks haven't actually thought about.